Hi all, and welcome to my desynced programming tutorial series. I wanted to make a series that deep dives into advanced scripts, and I'm going to build up to those over each video. My goal is for you to understand them well enough to make your own advanced scripts. To start, I'm going to show a script that I put in each of my power towers that gives me enhanced visibility over the area that I cover. I call them signal towers. A signal tower takes a prioritized look at its surroundings and signals the highest priority item that it's aware of so that other scripts can use this information even though it's outside of their visual range. So for example, I have this scout that has a Roomba type script. It's currently disabled. Now this Roomba can only see based on this yellow perimeter. And even though there's lots of valuable resources over here, it can't see them. However, with a signal tower nearby, this signal tower is going to alert the Roomba that those are available so it can come and pick them up. Let's take a look at what, how it happens under the hood. Now, this might look complicated, but I promise you it's just a simple piece of code repeated many times. So what we do here is at the program start, we do a get closest entity and we filter for the object enemy type. This is going to either return an enemy or if there are no enemies within range, it's going to return a null value. Now, in order to do that check, I found the best way in this circumstance is to try to get the distance to that value. If it's a real enemy, then I'll get a real number and that real number will be greater than zero. If it's a null result, meaning there is no enemy, it will be equal to zero. And so this first comparison will kick us out to the next thing in our list if there's a null result for our enemy check. Now I also do a distance check to see if it's within a range that I care about. And for enemies, I have that cranked up to 19, which is uh, pretty far. If I see something within that range, then I copy that value into my signal register, which makes it available for all other entities that I own to go and search through for. If I don't find any enemies that match my criteria, then I'll look for damaged objects that I own. And again, do that same logic. If I see none of those, then I'll also look for dropped items that are within the power grid. And the last thing I look for is construction. If I don't see anything at all, then I'll copy the null value into my signal register, just so that any stale values don't stick around and muck up the logic. Let's see that in action again. So again, I have this signal tower active and it sees all of these scattered resources, and so it's alerting to it. And if you look here, I have the signal register immediately copying into the visible register, which makes it easy for me to glance around on the map and see what's happening. Now, I damaged this worker on purpose ahead of time so that I can show you what happens when it moves into the range of the signal tower. After a few seconds, the signal tower is no longer reporting that it has dropped resources. You can see if you look within its parameter space that it still knows about it, but it isn't as high priority as a damaged uh, ally, and so instead it broadcasts that damaged ally. If I move it back out of range, we'll see that it goes back to its original behavior. I've also made a text version of this code. Hopefully it's helpful. So I've labeled my uh, registers here and I pull each of these registers out separately. I could have done these as internal registers, but I find that using the parameters makes debugging a lot easier. And so what I do is I get the closest entity, I check the distance, if that distance is valid and useful, I put it into the signal register. Again, if that's not happened, then I'll look for damaged or owned objects. 
measure the distance, and if that's valid, then put it in the signal register, and so forth. Now, I've based this syntax very loosely on Python, and so if that's helpful to you, please let me know in the comments. I've also included a version based on the Python walrus operator, and this might be a little bit more difficult to understand at first, right? So P1 walrus equals means set this to the results of get closest entity and move and use this as the result in this parenthetical expression, which allows me to collapse the syntax quite a bit, but is a little bit confusing. Again, if this is helpful or this is confusing, please let me know in the comments. I hope you found this uh, at least interesting, if not useful. Uh, thank you, and have a great day.